Hey boys and girls, so I uh, said that I would make a threes video. That would be after my uh, my attack phase started and I kind of started it and got really nervous and made some really bad mistakes because I was, I don't know, trying to think of what I was saying as opposed to what I was doing. But I'm gonna show you the fallout and I'm gonna show you what happened um, and I'm gonna show you why I strategized the way I did. Um, so. This dude put when you when I first joined um, for attack phase, I checked this this zone, one hundred percent this zone. This is ugly. This is fucking awful. This was this top fucking dr was twenty one points. It was awful. Um, I made a really poor decision. I was afraid of this gas team uh, more than I was of his dr Malik, which was a an incorrect choice to make. Um, I should have, I took against this gas team, my um, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, which did, of course, really well. Um, he can do, he can solo gas in threes alone. It does not work in fives. Um, but if you know what you're doing with him, he can almost solo gas. Um, so that, I wanted that win because this team is enormous. 99,000, like 100,000 GP in a three-man team is fucking huge. Um, and so I was a little bit more scared of this than I should have been. I should have taken that Supreme Leader Kylo Ren against this um, DR Malik, which at uh, the moment that I like went to fight DR Malik, I was like, oh, fuck, I don't have a team for this. Um, the Padme team was not a problem. Um, I did make a second mistake up here. Uh, with this Django Fett, I under misunderest misunderestimated. I underestimated Django Fett because these two were so easy. The the Newt and and the Duke who were cake to clear through. Um, I don't actually remember what I first attempted it with. I think it was Shock D clones, and it was just like this is easy. And then out of nowhere, Django was like, "I kill this guy. I kill this guy. I kill her." And I was like, "Wait, hold on. Like, don't I get to do stuff before you freak out on me like that?" Um, so. Uh, a little bit unexpected, but the point that I was originally going to make um, for this is, like, with my team set up, this is the bait. It looks like you want to come here. You want to go bottom. You don't. You really do not want to go in the bottom. Um, and you really don't want to go up here first because there's so much big shit. You don't want to fuck with that either. This dude was kind of smart. Um, so when I look here and I see these three, these three monster teams in the bottom right, it tells me like his biggest, his, this gas team is huge because of that gas team and this Padme team here. I know that all of his, his, uh, viable, real viable, um, Galactic Republic is on the field currently. Um, and his DR Malik, the best parts of his DR Malik teams are here. He could potentially in this back zone back here, he could have, however, knowing, knowing these front two zones, his single night sister is up here. His single relic night sister is up here. His single uh, relic Bosk is here. Um, his bugs are up here. Um, it tells me so much about what could be back here. The only thing that could be back here is his resistance teams. He has three relic resistance teams. He has enough clones left over for shock T clones, but his shock T is not relic, if I remember correctly. Um, so the goal is to get through this zone with as little casualty as possible, so you can find out what's here. And generally, because I did it backwards, I did this zone first, because I, fr I, I went to do this, and I freaked out, and I failed against that DR, and I was like, all right, we're going to get through the clean, we're going to do easy stuff, and then I'll come back to it. Um, and I did eventually end up killing, obviously, this DR uh, with a hilarious little, like, I to do bugs, I pull my Nihilus out, because I'll do that. If it's threes bugs, I'll pull Nihilus out and just do um, Treya and Sion. And if you know how to do it, like if you manually do the fight instead of being like, all I have to do is hit auto, um, you can get a Nihilus for free, which I used to then slowly, I used three teams. I two. The first attempt was a real attempt that failed miserably. The second attempt was a gut check uh, reactionary, like I'm just going to throw my next biggest team at it, which failed miserably. Um, and then I strategized out killing Bastilla. I killed um, DR. I strategized killing out Bastilla. And then Malik by himself did um, Nihilus lead with uh, B1 and the uh, Joydeca. 
Anyway, point of the story is once you're through these three teams, these monsters, you get to come back here and you get to see what's really here. And I am fucked in this right now because this team I cannot beat. I used too much on that DR Malik to beat this team. Everything else here, this might be rough. Um, this this might be rough. I don't know. This, I, th I believe I still have a counter for. I'm pretty sure I still have troopers somewhere. Um, but this, this I cannot beat. I cannot stop this. Um, generally, what I would do is at this point, because what I would have done is cleared this, and then I would know what these two are. I would look at this and say, okay, so this team is 70,000 power. That's the biggest team he has. This one is 69. And I would come over here and I'd pick this bounty hunter team. And I would go literally by GP. My top team versus his top GP team. Unless there's an available counter. And I would just be like, uh, okay, so this is 69,000. And starting from the top, I have a this available. And I would just... The more overpowered the characters that go in the less you need to actually be like, quote unquote, a counter team. Now, that does not mean don't use counters. If you see an easy counter, fucking do it. But keep in mind that like, for this last zone, I'm going to look at these teams and I have to pull counters. The biggest one is this. And I got to find something for this. But the goal is for me, I mean... I'll show you where's the last G one that I where's the last G I see I did. Come on, go back, 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 back. Oh, the internet's the worst down here. For like this. This, not this. This. When I got to here, got to this dude's back line, like this nest was the biggest team I he had. And the biggest team that I had to fight it was like oh no this this first order but like the biggest team i had to fight it was like supreme leader kylo ren like i just i had a team that could just steamroll it and everything after that i'd go down and i'd be like oh i guess i'll do uh this this first order team and it would just be like i have a I have my first order team and it's, you know, it's not really synergized perfectly and it's not really a counter, but it is 20,000 GP over his team. So, and I would just go down the line of like this team and then now this is viable and now this is viable. Is he swinging at me? Oh, I thought he was going to do it. He's going to win this. I will take second in this GAC, but that's how I do things. Um, and so from here, oh, do I have a team in the middle somewhere? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Do, 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 do. We may not pull this off. Who's here? We need some people in here. Three people in the city yet. Um, ba, 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 ba. We're going to do what I can and call it good. Um, also, he has Admiral Akbar. He has a, a reasonable Rebels fleet, um, which I will be with Malevolence. Um, actually, since I'm going to lose this, I'm going to... I'm actually just going to do final laser. Here, I'll show you. We'll do this. I'm going to cut this video here, and I'm going to start the another one on this. I'm going to show you how finalizer kicks the shit out of Rebels. Hold on.